everybody. How are you doing today? It's uh, been a while since I've done a video unboxing of uh, RC cars, so I figured it's uh, time to, um, to do one more. Um, I just picked up this one here off of uh, Banggood actually a couple weeks ago. Uh, They're having a really good flash sale on the um, Fuey FY05. Um, so I decided to pick one up. I've never had this particular one. I've had variations of it, but um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, video unboxing of it. So basically this is the one here. It states here it is the uh, Barbaric X-King uh, 112 scale full wheel drive, I guess, truck. Um, it says here high speed tire, shock absorbers, electric, 2.4 gigahertz radio, full scale. Of course you can see 112 scale, that's the transmitter. That's in a lot of the uh, Fuey uh, cars. It's got a bit of a wheelie bar. I'm not sure if it has enough power to use it, but we're gonna open up the box. So you guys can have a look at it. I chose to get it in blue. First off with this box here, we have the traditional uh, transmitter like I was mentioning. 2.4 gigahertz of course. The steering dual rate, steering trim is right over here. On off switch and the uh, throttle to control how much, uh, throttle switch I say to control I think it's a 50-50 or a 60-40 split, I'm not exactly sure. And of course you can reverse the steering with this little switch right here. And uh, I believe it takes four, yes, four AA batteries on the bottom. So that's the controller. You get decent range out of it. Then we have the typical Euro plug with a 2S balance port charger. So that you put an adapter on here and then you plug this into the wall. Pretty simple, straightforward. Then we have the truck itself. Again, like I said, I got it in blue. So it, uh, there's a, uh, I don't think there's foam. Actually, it does feel like there is foam in there, but of course they are air filled as well. I have these tires on other cars as well, and they actually perform quite well. They grip the road really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open up the shell. A lot of you guys will see it very familiar. Um, and it shares a lot of architecture with other brands as well. I believe the um, WL Toys 12428, I believe, it shares it with that as well. So, uh, basically, here's the car itself, 390 size brush motor. Uh, here's the brushed ESC. I believe it's a 40 amp brushed ESC with a five pin uh, servo connection. Um, of course, here's the, uh, here's the gearing inside of here. 1500 milliamp uh, 2S lithium ion two cell battery with the charging port, of course, and of course, Dean's. These, of course, are not oil filled shocks, they're friction, but they do work quite well. Um, might be a little bit bouncy and maybe a little bit on the stiff side, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just play uh, with this as is. I do have some other shocks that I have on its way. Um, so the shocks will be upgraded as well um, So there's no lights that they do have light buckets, but there's no lights in it But you can always add them if you choose to do so and of course here's the wheelie bar Not quite sure how effective it'll be with a 390 size motor, but who knows I may go I may go brushless with this I may not I may leave it as it is I know most of my cars are brushless so I may just leave this in stock for I guess nostalgia's sake I guess but uh, that's pretty much the uh, truck itself. As I was saying earlier, it shares much of the same undercarriage as the uh, WL Toys 12423-12428. Um, the shocks, as you can see, are laid down shocks. So, and of course the longer shocks on the swing arm. Um, yeah, everything, it's a lot of plastic, not much metal on this, but at the same time, you have to understand the price point that I got this at, which was a steal. I, I ended up paying, I think it was on Flash, for about $59 Canadian, and that includes shipping and taxes. So that's a, it's a steal. So even at that price, you really can't complain. So that's and that's the reason why I got it. So let's go. I'm going to go ahead and peel the um, plastic, the protective plastic on. I don't like leaving it on because once it flips, it just it does protect it to a certain extent. But I just like seeing it. Um, you know, new when I run it for the first time. I'm just going to rip everything off here. 
just to give you guys a close-up of the body. Quite nice actually. Not bad. Get rid of all this plastic here. At least I'll get rid of it the best I can without actually removing certain body parts. Like this roll cage, it's kind of in the way. So we're, we have everything off, so here's the body. Not bad for a 112 scale, it's almost a 110 scale body. It's got the little roll bar up here for the lights. Again, you can add buckets. You can add, sorry, um, lighting for the top. It's got a nice roll cage on the back. Um, so basically it sits, let's see how this sits, it sits like this. I'm thinking it sits too high from the factory in terms of the body. I think I want to try to drop it down a little bit more, just to lower the body, the rear anyway. The front is okay, uh, the rear seems a bit on the high side, so I'll just drop that down. Um, I may put shorter shocks here to make it more kind of level. I haven't decided yet, obviously I just got it, so. Um, but yeah, that's basically uh, my video unboxing of the Fway FY05 full wheel drive, I guess, uh, racing truck, I guess you want to call it. The Barbaric King, X King, I should say. So, if you guys, any concerns about this RC or any of the other ones in my fleet, please, by all means, leave a comment below. I'll answer any questions that you guys may have. All right, take care. Ciao.